Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Martin, and in this video, I will show you how to calculate monthly loan payments for annuity loans. Um, we need the loan value, let's say 200,000, 200,000 dollars. Let's say that's your mortgage. Let's say you pay interest of 4%. Um, then we can calculate the monthly payment. Now this works assuming that the payment is the same amount every month and that the interest doesn't change. Uh, so this is an annuity, a fixed annuity loan. Um, the function is called PMT payment, I guess. And we type it in and we click OK. Now the rate is 4% and as you can see in the example it's the interest rate per period for the loan. So use 6% divided by 4 for quarterly payments. Let's assume we're going for monthly payments in this example and we divide it by 12. The N per is the number of payments number of periods actually. Now let's assume this is a mortgage for 30 years, monthly 30 times, oh we can actually calculate this, 30 times 12. Oh, doesn't work. Okay, so we can calculate this other way uh, somewhere else, but it is 3x here of course. The present value, that's the total amount that the series of future payments is worth now, meaning the loan amount. Now you can uh, have the future value, the cash value you want to attain after less payment is made. Well, we're just going to assume that we're going to have repaid everything and we're done. Um, and the type you can say payment at the beginning or at the end of the period. Let's just say you have to pay at the beginning. That's usually what the guys at the banks want from us. And we'll click OK. Now we'll neatly make this go to home and we'll make it currency from this and now this is what you have to pay 30 years long every month to repay uh, a two hundred thousand dollar loan at four percent interest and of course we can say okay what happens if the interest goes up and that's what happens to the monthly payments and that's and you can say okay I want the amount the periods to change and you can say what happens if I not want to pay this in 30 years, but let's say in 20, which is 240. What happens to my monthly payment then? Etc. Useful thing this, I, at least I found when buying a house. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. And if you click on the Work Smarter TV button, you go to work my website, Work Smarter dot tv and you can subscribe to my mailing list there to get updates when i post a new video and tips and tricks on how to use excel in a smarter way in your inbox thank you for watching i hope to see you next time bye bye